Hi everyone, I came across this yesterday and I just wanted to share how I can turn a Google form into a drop down with multiple names in instead of typing out each individual. So if you're using this for attendance or you want to make sure that the data you're collecting is correct, because what we found is that staff when they're typing in the names or when students type in their names, they're slightly different to what's on our system. So it's hard to sometimes track the data or to analyze that in the right way. If you just want to make sure that your data is correct and that the drop downs are easier for younger students, then you can use this tip as well. Okay, so let's get started. So in the description below, I've pasted a link to a website which helps us out here. All we need to do is go to the website and scroll down to where we have some code here. So this might be your first foray into, into Google Apps Script, but I'll take you through the steps and it, it's quite straightforward once you get used to it. So I'm going to copy and paste all of this text here. And in uh, a new spreadsheet, I'm just going to go to Tools and Script Editor. And once that loads up, we're just going to paste the code that we just had into that first box there, overwriting anything that's already there. Now, what we need for, for this script to run is the form ID. That's the Google form ID for the form that you're going to use to have the drop down in. And if you go to the URL at the top, before the slash edit, it's this long code here after the D slash in my case. I'm just going to copy that and enter that into where it says your form ID. So I'm going to replace that there. And then when we have um, the name list, this is the tricky bit here, because what you want to do is in your form is create a drop down. And in here, this is the bit that's going to get populated with the student names. And what we're going to do is on this blue bar down the left hand side here, we're going to right click and inspect. And this looks a little bit scary, but if you just look just above the line that's highlighted, it's got the data observe ID. So the data observe ID there is the ID that we need to copy. So it's very important that you click on that blue bar when you right click, because if you click anywhere else, you won't find that. So I can just close that and copy that into the drop down list ID there. Last thing I need to do is to change the name of sheet in spreadsheet. So at the moment it's sheet one. So I'm going to change that to names and I have to make sure that that's exactly the same as this part here. So it's case sensitive. So now what will happen is if I have a column here, it's got to be this first column of names. I can have blogs, Joe, uh, Davis, Rob, Wakeling, Nicola, like that. And when I run this code, it should populate the Google form with those names there. So if I have my project here in Google Apps Script, I'm going to need to save this and run it. I'll give that a name, test, and click run going to ask me for some permissions and when I give my Google account allow that then when I click on the Google form you can see those names have been populated there in that drop down so if you want to put multiple names in here let's say you've got um, some names here let's just put a B C, D, E, and the and the name here is the forename, for example, John, Joe, Rob, Nigel, Michael. Um, then what you can do is if you want to um, if you want that to be populated with surname first and then a comma, you can use this formula here. So you use surname and then the ampersand quotes comma space quotes ampersand John. So what that's doing is it's taking the A, putting a comma and then a space and then the first name. So we can just double click there, copy that down. So I can put these names and when I paste them into here, it's going to struggle with the formula. So you want to paste the values, which is control shift V or right click paste special values only. And so when I run my script again by pressing the play button, then that's 
updated on here. Okay, so from there you can change this to a multiple choice or uh, check boxes if you want at the drop down there so that when you preview this, you've got the names there for when you submit your form. So um, we've used this in our school, so that I've had the year seven names on the first question. Uh, if I had a question here for year seven, and then add a section, for example, which can be the year seven section, and this could be the drop down for the year seven names, and then if you have a year eight, you can create another section here. Um, just move that down and call that one year eight so that when the year seven go to section based on answer we can go to the year seven section and we can go to the year eight section if they choose option eight so make that required and it will take them to that to that part of the form so just to show you again how to do the um, the drop down because that's the, the tricky bit add a question here for a drop down and make sure I'm on the, the blue part of this when I right click and inspect and the observe ID here is finding that specific drop down for my code so I can go into my code change the drop down ID like that um, just change the names a little bit so let's just make this a B S G. it doesn't matter um, so that when I press play The year eight names have been changed there to the different options that were on my spreadsheet. So I hope that was useful for you. This could have a lot of implications across the teaching and learning. It's not just for attendance. Um, so hopefully that's been useful. And if you have any questions or comments, then let me know.